Yeah, I think that was an unfair narrative that started coming in. So like you're saying with Lauren wanted someone off the show, that was the plan. And she had that conversation with MTV that Heidi and Spencer need to be off the show and they told her to walk. Mm -hmm. So at that point, and they told us, the main uh, executives at the time, they're like, Lauren wants you off. And we told her she can walk because, you know, and so it came to that point of what it was. But it was really hard having friends and having my best friend at the time too, turn on me publicly also and be like, and bring you in and say, she's brainwashed when it's not fair. And I wouldn't have done well, yeah, that to and her. I, I don't think we were, cause you're with Spencer. So we didn't really hang out much at that point. Yeah. And then I, right. Lauren didn't, I don't know if she had a lot of friends or not, but I'd always invite her out off camera too, to go on dates or whatever. I right. think it's in the upcoming episodes, but um, yeah, she had a lot to say. And I feel like I was her venting person and just right. hearing everything. I was like, oh my gosh, she did that or what? So and I would have been know. the same as you. <laughs> I would have done, you know, like here's Lauren and this is my new friend and we're hanging out and you're hearing one side. Yeah. Well, that's what you're going to do. And you're going to listen to that friend and have that conversation. Do you think that Lauren was also a little skeptical of people that were coming? I mean, obviously not you because you've been friends with her for so long, but also just coming to try to be on a reality television show, not you guys, but Maybe first. you guys were Later not at on. first, but like, yeah. Like, Once it got popular. Sure. Right. Quick question. Did you guys ask Lauren to come on here to like yeah. speak? Oh, none we of did. us, I don't think, really talk. We don't really talk. Well, we reached out to her. Numbers. We reached out yeah. to her agent, her publicist, and I was just Sophia. Curious. But we didn't get a response. Okay. A response. And then Sophia said, I don't have her number, so... I don't know. Did you think that Lauren would come on here? <laughs> she went on the an, I another Kristen. one. I know, but that's so I was, that's I was, Kristen. They got better ratings than us. So yeah, and, <laughs> and she called her out. On, I think that's, I that's, she that's on that different. One. I think that's different. <laughs> yeah. I think she had nothing. Do you still um, friends with her? No, I don't. I haven't really. The last time I saw her was at Disney on Ice, like right before COVID. And I, I met that baby. Still and we all hung out kind friends of. Friends with well, Lauren, friendly. Like, I remember I saw her on, I was at like Vegas or something. We were all getting on a flight together, ran I hadn't seen her in like 10 years. And just, it was a very kind of like, oh, Brody, like, oh, hey, what's up? You know, oh, hey, Brody. And then just like, just like walked right by, yeah. got in her seat. You know, so I think Lauren kind of was. My, my wife is. At least is, it seemed My like wife Lauren is closer, sort of, like in a, well. Close to her, like over us, in, in a way <laughs> as close as you can yeah. be, because she lives in Laguna Beach and we live here. And I don't think she's met my kids or we have met her kids in that yeah. way. I mean, maybe they have because they like hang out at the, their. She has like a little thing called the little market that they do. Like, I've heard about that it's with with her. It's really cool with her best friend, and uh, they go to those little things and uh, they hang out. But I haven't seen Lauren in a while. I mean, everybody changes. I'm yeah. not the same person I was when I was 20, 21 on the show. I'm like, the same. I'm totally different. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I'm very much I wiser. <laughs> and like, no, I think everybody would get along different. way differently yeah. today. In, in, in when it's all said and done, er, oh, we're all everybody different. has. Everybody had like the best. Uh, I think today everybody would be like, "No, I want the best for you. I want 100%. the best for you. I want the best I for you. I want the best." I don't for you. know. You've always said that. But we did just do the Hills reboot. And that didn't happen. We started fighting. There's That's other true. things that happen. There's conversations. So I don't that agree with pro- that. No, that was also without the very producers, manipulated without the, by producers, the producers. Without the producers, I don't think anybody would not not get along. Yeah, of but course. we needed yeah. drama. You know, Otherwise, what's thing. a reality show? I know, Andrea, I'm fighting. like, don't bring your drama over here unless you want the real smoke because I'm not doing <laughs> pretend drama right now. Well, I just did pretend because <laughs> I couldn't have my real life on the most recent but, Hills yeah. reboot. So I what? just did storylines. So I couldn't like I know. talk it's, about things. It's tricky. Yeah, it was it was tricky. That's what I'm saying. Outside, the, the being on TV and like being with a t- camera and having to... Like you can't express yourself of the things you wanted to say. Like, she, like you said, she didn't even talk about what her real world was happening in her life. Yeah, um, I don't think any of us really were. But to be honest, I mean, it was very they. they it was they were trying to put us into like back in the day. We're trying to go to nightclubs and stuff like that all the time. And go, I'm like, that's I'm in my pajamas. Really, yeah, 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 like <laughs> but none of I'm us were really doing cash. any of that. Like they didn't show any of the music stuff. None of the DJ. They didn't really cover any asking. of our real life. It was all just hey, get into fights, drama, like sort of the. Sort of kind yeah, of like the producer will ask my wife, like, what 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 is Frankie doing wrong? Or like, like what are you bothered by Frankie right now? Oh, like, I know. Yeah. It's like, dude, can we just yeah. have a real I'm never going on reality like, TV? Me, no, you don't want to. Me and, her, me and her no have like a great relationship way. and we like really get along the way we understand yeah. each other That's, and we have our yeah. own world and it's great. You know, like yeah. can that really exist? Well, I think you hit it <laughs> on the head though, Brody, and bringing it back to this episode was that um 
she was, or she started being, or I don't know if you said or you said, but she did start being skeptical and resentful yeah. that like you and Spencer did come on For to sure. do the show. So I think that was part of her frustration was like, my show is being completely taken in a different direction than I wanted. I'm losing my best friend over this. She's part of that, of what's going on. The way we get along is we just don't talk about Spencer. I mean, she doesn't say his name. We just don't talk about him. And it's awkward because he's obviously a really big part of her life. So I think there was a lot of miscommunication and different things, but it was frustrating because in the beginning, she was all in for it, right? She was like, yeah, yeah let's make the show. I, I like Brody. I'm Heidi and I are double dating all the time. And then she switched. And was like, mm -hmm. actually, no. And I don't want Heidi talking with Spencer and anymore. And whether he yeah. was been treating and me well or not. Heidi, falling out through it yeah. because right. of it. And that's like it. whenever Jen came on, because you guys go shopping in this episode. And like, I thought like you guys were closer than, I didn't know that the history before. So I, as we a were, viewer, we I just are. thought like you guys were like super close because we were, you were always yeah. together. We were, in we were, we were really we close. We spent all of our time together off camera. I mean, I was yeah. I was their third roommate. Right. They all were that, roommates, like, but I was there right. every single night. Like, right. I wasn't even sleeping at my apartment at USC. I didn't hang out my, with my college friends for months. Right. I would only go to USC for tests. And like, I was living that. with them. See, yeah, why? They should have yeah. showed all that. Like, oh, they didn't care. That yeah. wasn't no interesting, idea. you know? They were um, just... And we're like, you're going to a frat party? Oh, <laughs> we're going to club. <laughs> Bye, Jed. You're so a child. They're like, you're a loser. Yeah, we were going to like college parties. You don't want college parties, Yeah, we're like... Well, so I guess we already covered one of the second scenes in this episode is whenever you guys are shopping and then it's talking about Brody. And like you're kind of teasing the idea if if Brody's going to your birthday or like if you it, it seemed like you were interested in Brody and then Heidi was kind of <laughs> like, well, do what you want. I mean, I thought I thought Brody was like the definition of cool. Like I thought he was like the coolest person. Everyone ever. did. I he wouldn't cool say everybody. he was cool so cool. You. Damn, that was some good. I just <laughs> remember like going to your mom's apartment. Condo. If I yeah, get this condo. wrong, no, you yeah, know, it was a long condo, time ago. Yeah. And then like Nicole Richie was there, yeah. and you're like, oh yeah, it's my friend. And then yeah. you were, and like everything you said was just so cool. <laughs> and so like my interest in you like was like, less sexual and more like this guy is. Awesome. Like, you know. Jen was yeah. a fan. For, okay. Yeah. She was I, a fan. You guys were, and like Spencer too. Spencer was hilarious. Spencer was I had so, so much fun with you guys. We would yeah. like go and have all these fun times and have Pink Dot. And like you were oh, like, the yeah. coolest crew. And you remember that guy with the cross, the necklace. Sleazy T. Sleazy T. And then there was a rap song. And I was in some rap oh, song boy. you guys did. Yeah. Shwayze. Yeah. Your boy. Your boy. You were like, oh. with Jen Bunny oh, in yeah, the rap that's, song. Oh and I was God, like, oh, I'm so funny. And I mean, back then. But Lauren was a part of it. And that's what is missing in this. It was you, me, Lauren, Brody, Spencer. Like, it was a crew. And it was a crew. Yeah. Was I wish they it. showed the all of that. Stuff yeah, the paintball stuff. Yeah, we and then she bowed out. out. Paintballing and so then Jen's that. left like, wait, it was all cool and we were all hanging out. We were going to dinner. Remember the dinner at Sugar? Was it Sugar? No. Blowfish. 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 We all went to dinner. Yeah. Spencer's credit card. Oh, my God. I remember that. Jared. But that was your Jared and Jar. Yeah, Jared. Jared, yeah. Yeah. So it was, it was, that was a moment. Yeah, but that's the day. That's where you could see what they show on TV versus like oh, real yeah. life and yeah. especially watching the episodes now and knowing even since you've came on Heidi like some things that I never even knew I view it so differently now because as a viewer it's like you're soaking it up and like oh my gosh I can't believe that happened like everything is how you watch it yeah and part of it's true right so it's just a version of what's going on and yeah. that's the frustrating thing from Lauren's perspective of how she's seeing the events mm -hmm. unfold and I think that she really had that power and harnessed it and took advantage of that. And so that was what became tricky. Absolutely. When, and great. Say Spencer wasn't, you know, we were both playing games and she wasn't liking the game anymore and wasn't wanting to support me in that relationship. That's fine. But you still support me as a person or like as a friend if you want to be friends. But clearly she just was like, you know what? I'm going to take this opportunity to not be friends with Heidi and to cut this off and to be done with it. And I think she did the same thing with you. And I was you know. very easily removed from the show, right. from right. the scene, from like I was very dispensable in right. a way, which – 
Which is it's shocking hard. because well, if you guys disguise, were friends for that long, it's just not, it doesn't seem fair. And that's why when you say like, why didn't I clear it up? Like I did, I don't think I ever was given the opportunity yeah. to clear it up. And I if I did, I clearly like would have been like, no, question, nothing happened but... between us. I would have been like, we were okay, all Okay, so out. this is and where that question came from. Yeah. There is this, and I'm not coming at you in any way. I'm just yeah, sort right. of. There was some After Hills special that we did, and I've turned it on, and it's Brody. And they're like, so, did you and Jen Bunny hook up? And Brody's like, I'm never going to kiss and tell. And I was like, oh, we need clarity. Chapter five. So Keep the yeah. mystery. I think clarity. that's like Chapter me five. of just trying to make it. I don't even know that. Oh, when I get put in those I, interview I, situations, I, I, I'm not. Like, I, I, oh, this water's like, not under the bridge. This water's going flow. No, 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 no. no, no. <laughs> I just remember that moment and been flushed. like, this would have taken all of the bad things that were happening right now away. All the death threats. I was just trying to keep the cliffhanger going. I should get run over by a bus because I'm an awful friend. I didn't know that. That's my whole community. Wow. Didn't know it wasn't real. So people in Laguna Beach that right. were my people teachers that very, were like right. came up to me in my own town and were like, wow. you know, slut or whatever. Was well, there anything else you want to clear up or just like? So that's what I was going to say. So we didn't hook up. That is what Brody clear that has no idea. Know. That's pretty much. Oh, I'm like, yeah. really nobody can know how it impacted yeah. like, you. You know, and I'm not worked up about this as a me now. I'm just sort of. It's interesting to kind of look back and be like, well, why did that happen that way, or why like. You know, mm -hmm. just but, out of curiosity. Yeah. Also, which didn't happen. But if anything had ever happened, it still doesn't validate any of that. And it still right, doesn't validate the way you were treated. It still doesn't yeah. validate the cutoff. But like, well, I would have been a shitty Spencer, friend. I get that. But I'm not a shitty friend. And I never had any intentions of being a shitty friend to right. you or Lauren or anybody, which is why it was so I just think hurtful that the, the, show, happened, the show showed it and portrayed it so differently. But Brody didn't ever feel the need to clear anything up because it didn't. There wasn't, it wasn't relevant to, clear to him. Anything. You right. know what I mean? Like he was just. Yeah, but it like was it wasn't not affecting a thing. him like it was affecting you. I just right. exactly. show, right? And so I like thought as feel my, I right. know, but as my sort of friend, like we weren't super close or anything, but like we were friends. Maybe you could I have thought you would have sort of and said, "Hey, dude." But it would have been like, yeah. More, so for Brody, it was just like, "Ooh, the show," and I'm. No, I get where you're coming from. You're just chill. On to the next scene. What do we got? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But for me, my whole life was like spinning out, and no one would talk to me. I wish you would have called me because I would have been like, "Hey," because then I probably would have said, "Oh, hey, nothing happened." Do you mind like doing this for me, please? What you're going through? I didn't. I think that would have been the best solution to just face it with him and say, hey, dude, listen, it's really affecting me. The, the whole world's telling me yeah, that I, I did never, something wrong. I would have been like, like absolutely not. We didn't hook up. You know, but I, the just, show, I was trying yeah. to keep the cliffhanger the show, for the show. I know. <laughs> I know. It's a hard position to be yeah. in. Haya fills in the most common gaps in modern children's diets to provide the full body nourishment our kids need with a yummy taste they love. Formulated with the help of nutritional experts, Haya is pressed with a blend of 12 organic fruits and vegetables, then supercharged with 15 essential vitamins and minerals, including vitamin D, B12, and many others to support immunity, energy, brain function, mood, concentration, teeth, bones, and more. I feel so good about giving Kira these vitamins every morning, and she actually really loves the taste. So we've worked out a special deal with Haya for their best-selling children's vitamin. Receive 50% off your first order. To claim this deal, you must go to HayaHealth.com hills. This deal is not available on their regular website, so go to H-I-Y-A-H-E-A-L-T-H dot com slash hills and get your kids the full body nourishment they need to grow into healthy adults. It's springtime, which means summer is right around the corner. And you know what summer means? I gotta get in shape. And that's why I love Factor, America's number one ready-to-eat meal kit. It can help you fuel up fast with their ready-to-eat healthy meals delivered straight to your door. You'll save time, eat well, and tackle everything on your to-do list. Looking for calorie-conscious options this spring? Try delicious, dietitian approved calorie-smart meals with around or less than 550 calories per serving. With their yummy sour cream and chive chicken meal or their chimichurri filet mignon, that's one of my favorites, it's hard to believe something that is good is under 550 calories. Factor also offers delicious, flavor-packed options on the menu each week to fit a variety of lifestyles, from keto to calorie smart, which is what I'm doing, vegan plus veggie, and protein plus. You can round out your meal and replenish your snack supply with an assortment of 45 plus 
add-ons, including breakfast items like egg bites, smoothies, and more. And when I'm so busy, I just don't have time to cook. I love that I can pop these meals in the microwave for two minutes and bam, dinner is ready with no cleanup. Head to factormeals.com slash hills50 and use code hills50 to get 50% off your first box. That's code hills50 at factormeals.com slash hills50 to get 50% off your first box. And it was a different moment in time. There, there's no Instagram. You can't reach out to people right. unless you have their number or totally. anything yeah. like that. And, you know, it Let's just... Let's clear it up on yeah. the show. Right yeah. Here. yeah. Okay. Well, in the next scene... Episode, or in that scene, um, when you guys are shopping... You can hang out with me if you want to hang out with me. So can we do a what double date? You? Well, who do you want to go on a double date with? Brody? I just don't want to do anything that would upset her. Jen, you ask Heidi if she thinks Lauren would be upset if you were to start hanging out with her and Spencer more. And make a play for Brody. And then Heidi shrugs. Make a play for Brody. I don't think I ever said that. I would never say that. Well, not, no, this is just like in our words, right? You guys. No, but I never said and make, I never asked her if I, if I, I don't I think it's a verbatim. It's verbatim. Like, it's not verbatim. It's just a summary of what. Of what you take that, you take that of, out. That doesn't really make sense with everything. Well, basically, but, but I think you are worried that. about but, if Lauren's going to be upset if you started hanging out with Heidi and Spencer yeah, more. Yeah, that's what yeah. I remember. Yeah. But in the episode, they kind of spun it to be exactly. more about Brody. Yeah, but I just wanted to sort of that clarify that. So Lauren would always, as you know, kind of talk to Whitney mm-hmm. about what's going on in her life. And she was telling her how it's your 21st birthday and that Spencer was invited to Ledoux and... Um, she was hoping that Brody was going to be there. Yeah, I mean, we're all going out. She already invited Spencer, though. Like, she did. The only good thing is if Spencer comes, he brings Brody. <laughs> so, and the, on the mm-hmm. show, it kind of seems like Lauren still has a crush on Brody, but then they show, like, you guys talking about Brody. So I think that's where, like, the juicy drama comes in. Lauren had a boyfriend at the time, if you guys don't she remember did? that. Yeah, and I was dating someone as well. Was so it Greg was, Carney? It, Maybe. It, it, were they yes. ever official? I, I, I know they were. They were, they were I don't think girlfriend. they were official. So it wasn't. Like, I don't think they were. Each other. They were like pretty. But they were seeing official. each other a lot. Like she <laughs> would. Yeah, it wasn't. Yeah, it wasn't like, that, that wasn't your. Oh yeah, Lauren and I had our own separate lives going on, and then we would be like, "All right, it's time to film us being." flirtatious and right, all that stuff and right. we were just we, were, we had good on-screen chemistry I think yeah. that's what mm-hmm. that's what the producers were kept like they kept putting us together because they know we had good on-screen on-screen chemistry and it yeah. continued being a relevant through line like this brought it back in like things yep. bring it back right. in so the only relevance of the reference of all you know yeah but yeah, yeah. okay so. And then they show you and Spencer in the car talking about Jen's birthday, and you say that she was a cutie pie. And yeah, then Spencer is kind of like, "You got to date her. I, I have a girlfriend now. Like, yeah, you, yeah. we need to do double about dates." The double dates, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. And he and mentions then, that the two of them had an invitation from Heidi to come to Jen Bunny's birthday. And that's when Spencer is like, "I think you should mac Jen." That's when <laughs> oh Spencer God. is kind of Can't instigating, like. <laughs> Come and, on, we never, Brody, and we, and we her, never met. And we never met. No. We did. We, you know, it was. It was Definitely it was, not. Heidi's trying to get us a roll to um, Jen Bunny's birthday at Le Do. I like little Bunny. She's she's a cutie pie. I think you should mac Jen, to be honest. Yeah. So here's Spencer still producing, right? And like that was Spicing something that was up. talked about. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Jen was. We love Jen. We were always hanging out with Jen. Exactly. Spencer Lauren was, said she didn't care. Yeah. Spencer was so still Lauren did the show. Just off off right. So it was she just just, like, just a storyline. No, I I think for me it was more about like I was hanging out a lot with you guys, right. and sometimes Lauren couldn't be there, and so I think that was she sort of the hang out the, the question that came in was, is it a are you feeling okay if I'm hanging out with this crew Without when you're not you. there? Yeah. And that was where the rift. Began. Okay, right. that makes sense. And that's what I was referencing yeah. earlier. Left out. Yeah. And then there were people at home, other influences that were Low Bosworth. <laughs> no, I mean Oh wow, I haven't no, even seen Low uh, yet. Did she ever no come names. up? Yeah, because she started hanging out with Low when I started oh, not. Right, right. So she well there came was a bunch, there was a whole crew. I mean, there of was people. a crew. I thought Low gets in the in the on the show. Right. right. Yeah, there was She's a whole like, crew oh, I'll just replace you and get a new best that friend. Was like, like, oh, <laughs> you know, okay. Jen, Jen, Jen sucks. Jen's awful. She's a horrible friend. And you should 
you know, not be friends with her anymore. But then all people that were on Laguna Beach should know editing and producing. So why would they treat you like that? Because they wanted to be on. Okay. It was an opportunity for them to come in. It was a great opportunity. It was an opportunity for, for, I guess, her to come on the show and not be the best friend. I don't want to single out any, like, individual. It was this whole group of people. There was a group that wanted to be on, that wanted to be in the Hills life. Oh, yeah, for sure. Especially, yeah, I was going to say after second season. five girls, six, well, they were off camera. And then the one on camera best friend hero who could come in was Lo. And they already had their own falling out. So it was interesting that she came in, especially after having her own fallout with Lauren after Laguna Beach, after all that. And then they started being best friends again when you and I, when she stopped hanging out with us. So That's weird. a whole nother story. It's so weird. Yeah, <laughs> so it was, like, it was like a swap. Like crazy. Yeah. Well, I think everything uh, I think changes. I best friend over so there. Thank oh you. My God. I think when in a reality television show, especially like like. Kristen wanted to be the actress. And I remember Kristen, right. I think originally they offered it to Kristen. Yeah. The Hills was supposed to be Kristen. And then that's when you were dating Kristen. And then right, it was like back. And then Lauren was, they did it with Lauren instead. Right. And nobody knew how I was going to do. And I think the first season it did okay, you know, it did pretty good. Mm-hmm. And by the second season, it really started mm-hmm. to pick up steam. And like anything, when it comes popular, all of a sudden, you got all types They're of people coming out of the woodwork. Chris, oh my God, it's popular right, now? Okay, right. I want to be on Kristen it. Kristen you know? was on fire, though, before the show, before the hills. That's when, I mean, Punk, that's when I, yeah, I had yeah, to yeah. take her on Punk. Yeah. And uh, and Punk Kristen, and they were and they were like, uh, uh, the producers of Punk were like, yo, we need to get this girl, Kristen. How do we get to her? So yeah. the Frankie knows her, so they, and that's how we got yep. to, to her. But she was the, like, everybody wanted to work with her. The fact that you were getting punked, you were somebody at that time. Well, this scene <laughs> closes out the episode pretty much. You come back, you guys have a conversation in the kitchen, and Love Lauren's pretty upset. You're really trying to talk to her about wanting to save your friendship and about wanting to be able to confide in her and talk to her about Spencer, but she doesn't want to hear about Spencer, so it puts you in a weird position, too. Yeah. She basically wanted you to have her back as her best friend and not— let Jen hook up. She thinks like you guys in the episode, mm-hmm. she uses the word hook up, but, and she really, really seemed upset and was yeah. like on the verge of crying. And like, it was a heavy scene. I'm not talking to Jen right now. I'm livid with Jen. Okay. I am really shocked by Jen's behavior. But the thing is and that last night was just kind of like the straw that broke the camel's back. I think that there were just so much miscommunications going on. And so she was having conversations that should have been with me, with producers and other people. And so she saved it for camera and she had this anger and wasn't able to listen to anything I was saying. And it was kind of past the point of mending our friendship anyways. And she had already decided like, I'm done with this. I'm done with Heidi, you know, and I think a part of her wanted to keep that friendship and like wanted to do mm-hmm. that. And then the majority of her, it was already done. It was already broken. If I was with Spencer, she wasn't going to be able to be with me. She already said, I'm not going to be in a room with Spencer. I don't want to hear about Spencer. And it was really frustrating for me because like I've said before, she had an ex-boyfriend that I hated who I had to live with. And I was with him for a year. And I never said that to her. Not one time. I wasn't like, I don't want to hear about Jason ever. I was like, you need me. I'm here. It doesn't matter who you're dating. It doesn't matter who you're with. And I just never got that back. And I thought just having been through that. So it was frustrating because Mm -hmm. she also had all the power. How long was that scene? I know it's like a 30 second clip. That was it. But that seems like it would be like a longer scene. It was quick. It was pretty quick. She just like wanted to say what she wanted to say and have me be out. And this was one of the last scenes I ever filmed with Lauren. And it was really frustrating that I didn't feel she ever valued our relationship more to make it work. Mm -hmm. You know, like I spent half my Valentine's Day with her when I was with Spencer. And so what? So so what? He came on with an agenda. And so what? He was a player or whatever it was. She knew me enough to know I was a player too. And it wasn't my, it wasn't my side. I was just hooking up with, you know, <laughs> I was just hooking up with someone else that she saw that night too. So it wasn't like this one-sided thing. And it wasn't this innocent bystander who was being played. You know, I think it also became territorial over her. Like, this is my show and this is my life. And if you're not following this certain rule, you're out and you can't be with it. But there were emotions there and it was heavy yeah. and it was hard. It was hard on you. And it was a business to her. So there, she's balancing a lot, and There's I get it. A lot of emotions, for yeah. sure. You yeah. guys are juggling, right? And it was frustrating, and it's hard that this is one of the last 
scenes and it it's crazy because you know, I know maybe you guys filmed this out of order most likely because then in the next episode they show like the scene of you and Lauren in the house and it's like everything's fine again and it's like they just yeah, got in a huge so fight right. and then the next episode they're yeah. like didn't talk about anything everything's it's fine it's like they're normal and they're like hey what's up that how you doing how confusing. was your school and everybody and yeah. I'm like, didn't they just have a huge falling That's out fight type of thing yeah. like I don't want to talk to you yeah no this was one of our last scenes we filmed okay they just put it you in know, that order so I it just was this was like one of the yeah last Aww. moments and I get that she was frustrated that we were over there with Brody and you know trying to have Jen and her have something and she had someone else, and we were also trying to do it for the show. And she said she didn't care. But um, she really regardless, did. should should I? We have played that card. No, probably not. Was that the nicest thing to do? No, probably not. Did she say she cared? No. So it was frustrating because she was also like being a part that's of a the really show at that time. I thought that was really fair. Thank you. Yeah. And that's that's what I've been saying, Heidi, yeah. that you've been that Balanced. this is what I said earlier. I said whether it was a mistake or not, like it was said, it right. was it was moved on, it was said sorry, and everybody should have moved on from that right. point on. And right. even if you didn't mean it or you meant it, whatever way you want to call it as it is, the fact was that for the show, everybody was playing ball right. to do this, right? I'm just an innocent not yeah. bystander. I'm just watching on yeah. TV. Okay. I'm a, I'm a fan of the show at this point, and I'm seeing this girl go after the guy like she likes because the friends are influencing her. Like, hey, you should. You should. It would be so much fun. Imagine the four of us together. Hey, woo, 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 woo. I can see Heidi going like, woo, 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 woo. <laughs> you know, and it's supposed to be like, yeah, yeah, yeah. And Brody just <laughs> being… the scenes you're talking about. Brody just being this, like, I don't care. Right. You know, like, right. Right. Very, like, right. He's over here just being like, yeah, coolest guy ever. Like, why wouldn't well, he? Yeah. Yeah. Next. Well, and Lauren's saying, I don't care behind the scenes. That's so what that I'm was, saying. Yeah, and it's like, not yeah. like Lauren hasn't hooked up with her friend's… People they've hooked She's up She's dating with. other people. Yeah. yeah, so it wasn't it, like, I don't yeah. know. It was, and that's well, what I'm saying. But And there what, wasn't, it was still, it was more in my mind, like we wanted a crew to hang out with. Right. That we thought we were having a blast. Yeah. Get a head start on spring cleaning with Caraway. Their thoughtfully designed sets and complimentary storage makes getting and staying organized easier than ever. Caraway Kitchenware comes in a variety of chic shades, and all sets include complimentary, easy access storage solutions. I chose the off white color because it's clean. I'm obsessed with all of their baking wear, their cooking wear. I'm the storage is great. I just they're my favorite. Caraway's high quality ceramic coated kitchenware is free of PTFE, such as Teflon, lead, and other toxic materials. Their ceramics naturally slick surface means minimal oil or butter for slide off the pan eggs and easy cleaning. Since I'm not a big cooking uh, chef, I always kind of destroy all my, st <laughs> my stuff and my wife gets so mad at me. So with these, the other day when I tried my, my eggs on it, like they just slipped off. I didn't even have to put that much butter, which is healthier for me. So, you know, it, it, it was, they're amazing. They're amazing. Yeah, they really are. If you guys are interested, visit carawayhome.com slash hills to take advantage of this limited time offer for 10% off your next purchase. This deal is exclusive for our listeners. So visit carawayhome.com slash hills or use code hills at checkout. Caraway, non-toxic cookware made modern. It's festival season and planning for faster, efficient hydration is essential. Liquid IV has you covered while you prep before, power through to the headliner, and recover after the weekend. Liquid IV hydrates two times faster than water alone with three times the electrolytes of traditional sports drinks. I love to throw Liquid IV into my water on my traveling days or after I finish a DJ gig. It really helps when you're always on the go and are made with premium ingredients. It contains five essential vitamins, B3, B5, B6, B12, and vitamin C, and is non-GMO and free from gluten, dairy, and soy. One stick of Liquid IV in 16 ounces of water hydrates you two times faster and more efficiently than water alone. I'm a big fan of their new flavor, strawberry lemonade, which is obviously my favorite thing in the world. But Liquid IV also comes in Concord grape, lemon lime, piña colada, tropical punch, watermelon, strawberry, also my second favorite, and passion fruit. Love it. 
Liquid IV believes that equitable access to clean and abundant water is the foundation of a healthier world. They have partnered with leading organizations for innovative solutions to help communities protect both their water and their futures. And to date, they have donated over 39 million servings in 50 plus countries around the world. Grab your Liquid IV in bulk nationwide at Costco, or you can go get 20% off when you go to liquidiv.com and use code HILLS at checkout. That's 20% off anything you order when you shop Better Hydration today using promo code HILLS at liquidiv.com. That's HILLS, H-I-L-L-S, at liquidiv.com. Okay, Jen, so we're going to get into some fan questions. Um, But before we start, listeners, if you guys have a question, you can always leave us a voicemail at speakpipe.com slash the hills or drop us a comment on our YouTube and at the Hills Rewatch Instagram page. So are you ready? Yeah. Okay. First question. Do you have any stories from behind the scenes? From Laguna Beach, and then did the producers ask you to come back for season three? Okay, so I'll start with the season three question. Um, I was pretty much cut out of the hills after that. I think that producers only I, I went to a few parties. I remember there was a Halloween party. I was wearing a ladybug costume at Lauren and Heidi's house. Do you remember that? And you were there, Batman and Robin. Batman and you were there, yeah. With the, with the, so and I would film like (laughs) little things like that, but I was never as on the show as like a main friend again. Like that was really it Mm. for me. I wasn't asked back, and and I remember my contract to film was really weird. It was like completely different than it was before. Like you'll just have a few guest spots. So I think I was pretty much cut out for season three. Like I was done. Bye bye, Jen. See you later. But how were you back on the show for that Halloween party? It was like everybody they was wanted cool me with each to other? film these random parties yeah, random in moments. hopes that maybe like something else would happen. Drama. They would catch some more. But drama. you were invited yeah. by Lauren and Heidi for that party. Yeah, no, I, I was invited there? by Lauren. Yeah, no, I don't. I wasn't there. We were fr- we became friends again, but it was a very like sort of awkward, tenuous friendship that didn't mm-hmm. really feel like it did before. It didn't feel as sincere. So it kind of yeah. went up. And then we met up in Malibu in 2000. We did? I can't remember. It's the famous meme with me in the pink sweatsuit. And then you oh, came out. Oh, we were full-on friends again by then. We yeah, yeah. Like, but that was yeah. one of the main times that we, like, saw each other. But we were yeah. really good friends we were by really then. Good friends, yeah. So we had mended things. So we have more so questions for you, Jen. Sure. Actually, sure. Jen is one of Gunner's godmothers. Oh, I love Aww. that. Yeah, it's amazing. Emily asks, "How did you end up in the medical field? And is that is that what you went to school for a while on the show, or was it after you moved to North Carolina?" I, I never moved to North Carolina. Okay. I got my doctorate from UNC at Chapel Hill, um, and I was an executive program, so I worked full-time while I was going to school there, earning that doctorate. In terms of how did I end up in the medical field, the question is, like, I would have never ended up anywhere else. My whole family are doctors and physicians, um, all the way back to, like, my great-grandfather, cousins, uncles brothers. Everybody is a physician. What kind of doctor doctor. are you? I'm a doctor of public health. Oh, okay. So I study issues that affect populations at large. So COVID was a really big deal for my profession because nobody knew for the first time what was going on and all the research was new. And so I was really involved in those research efforts. Um, And anything that affects really like your longevity and how you can be a healthy person. So I focus a lot on wellness and very evidence-based wellness. So not like take this crazy supplement, you know, read the book. It's really (laughs) about So higher vitamins are good. I can talk to you all about vitamins. Boom. Yes. There's only one vitamin that's you should be taking every day. Yeah. There's a You got to let us know. What is it? Here it says vitamin D. So so read the book. So so buy the book and you'll know what the vitamin is. Yeah. It says vitamin D, spinach for breakfast. You have a bunch of stuff in here. Also, Jen Bunny is married to a doctor. Yes. Dr. Dumpy. My husband, Taylor. I met him at USC. Um, I call him all the time. Oh, so you guys guys have known each other for a long time. Yeah. we. If I hadn't been kicked out of the hills, so to speak, I would have never met my husband. I really went back into oh, the college great. life after Everything that happens. and Everything. I met him oh, at the college bar. So oh, it all worked that. out. He's sweet. an orthopedic surgeon. Yeah. Okay. Oh wow. 
That's, that's really cool. So we're very like medical And he's based, a big deal at the based. hospital, right? Too? Yeah. Mm-hmm. And I called that's him during awesome. my pregnancy. Yes, good. <laughs> you call him all the time. <laughs> well, now, Jen, we do this Frankie's confessional corner oh, where okay. you're in the hot seat oh, today. Good. I've been well, in the hot seat all day. <laughs> Jen- Jennifer Bunny. Frankie, go easy. Jennifer Dumpy. I do this. I ask a little question that might like stir up the pot. Oh, but good. like, you know what? You beat me to it. To the one I was thinking about. Uh, when you actually called him out and said, hey, man, you, did we actually kiss or not, man? So I would have, I would have, usually this is what I do. I, I always ask them, did they kiss or just talk on the bed? We got a break today. No, you, you, you guys got a break? <laughs> um, no, but I, 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 I thought of something, uh, I think a better question for you is like, in obviously the way that you have moved on in life and yeah. you, you're you're winning and you're a doctor and you're doing mm-hmm. such good stuff for 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 everyone with your book and the success that comes with all of it you know is there any part of you that would like to make things good with Lauren like to be good forever no i mean in my heart we are good okay. um i i feel like there's no animosity there's no tension i'm I'm very comfortable going back and discussing what happened because I really don't have any regrets. I think that everything played out the way it did for a reason. I sure as heck learned a lot about myself through the process. And, you know, she came to me one day and said, hey, you want to get a cup of coffee? Great, let's do it. But there's absolutely no, like, desire on my part. I have a very full life. Um, So the the door is open, but, you know, there's no desperation there so to speak yeah but yeah. it would be nice to all everybody have coffee yeah <laughs> and vitamins or champagne Heidi and the champagne <laughs> that's the best oh man yeah. yeah I did watch that scene well it was really good having you Jen yeah and having, having you it was so good, it was to, good see to see you all of you you look great you literally look the exact same as last time I saw you I agree with same as you I'm, I'm, like, like, no, I'm a dinosaur I was like, oh as soon as she walked in no I'm you're like, not well. you're, you're right. Right. your skin is like glowing <laughs> it's the light <laughs> and I'm so proud of you for coming on because this has been a really hard continuing like continual thing for you as it has been for me because people continue to bring it up and put you in that narrative and in that spot from years ago when really it was a flash of someone else's narrative a long time ago and Anyways, I'm so proud of you. We're Thank so you. proud of this book. Everyone, please check this it. out. Don't yes, tell me guys. what to and, do. And Thanks. everyone trying to go out there on those comments, leave her alone. Like, be positive in life. Yeah. <laughs> be no forgiving, be loving. Just, I have a thick skin We don't now, need guys. haters. Give okay. It we all have I can haters. take it. No, she can't. More haters means you're doing better in life, trust me. Yeah, seriously. <laughs> Bring her book haters. haters and try to figure out something more positive to do. Okay? Okay. All right, guys. Thank you so much for listening. Please follow, rate, and review The Hills Rewatch wherever you listen to your podcasts. And if you like to watch us, go check us out on YouTube. And you can listen to exclusive bonus content plus ad-free episodes by signing up at castmedia.com slash cast plus. That's cast with a K, media.com slash cast plus. Don't tell me what to do, Brody. Don't tell me what to do. Congrats, guys. Jen. <laughs> and I'll send you all a free copy of my book. I want one, yeah. yeah, for sure. Thanks for watching this video, guys. Be sure to start with the pilot episode and catch all of our episode recaps.